Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and I know it's been a long, been a long time since my last video. I'm not really going to be returning to videos anytime soon. I'm actually going to be working on software development for a while, but I want to show you something really neat that I noticed tonight, and that is that you can actually change the link area of a link label without using code. So you might be familiar with this code right here. Um, where you change the property, the link area property of a link label to a specific area within the code file. So this is visualbasic.net. So this code right here you might be familiar with um, if you're trying to use a specific length for the link area. So what that means, is, what I mean by that is like say this was a link label right here, setting setting the auto size, say that was the lab link label. Usually it would just be setting the auto size, all of it is what you can click on. But here it's specifically auto size is the only thing you can click. I actually found a way to more easily do this, to change the area where you can click. And that is through Visual uh, Studios, I'm using Visual Studio 2015 community. And the way I figured it out was through Visual Studio's, this is for Windows Forms, um, applications through the Properties pane. So you want to click on the um, link label that you want. Go in the, into the Properties pane. Scroll down until you see Link Area. You want to click on that. You can open this or close it, it doesn't matter and then see over here with this ellipsis button click on it and you'll open the link area editor and with this you just select the range of text you want to make your link say I want to make only the word repository allow users to visit my github repository for this for my application launcher and I'll put the link to it in the description if you're interested um, I only want the word repository to work, to click on. Now only that is what you can click on. And it, it changes over here as well. And you can use this so that you don't have to guess what the text is that you want to um, have be uh, highlighted. So otherwise you would have to do, um, I want to have it, let's see, one, two, I want to have it after the word visit. So one, two, three, four, five. So I want to start at six and then I want to go all the way to GitHub. So, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Did I do it right? No, I didn't. So that's what Wait, maybe... Oh, okay, so it starts from the first one and then goes to the second one. Okay, that, that's kind of confusing. I thought it was both the start and the length. Oh, okay, I get it now. I thought that was the end, not the length. That makes a lot of sense, and that makes it so much easier to design stuff, so I'm just going to make everything highlighted. There we go. I hope this helps you if you're trying to figure out how to do this as well. I I did a lot of searching for this. The reason why I wanted this, wanted to um, do just part of it, is because is because I wanted to um, have a learn more. This this function right here is deprecated. Click here to learn more, and it'll be changed to just automatically show you what the stuff is. But actually that won't work if you change it on at runtime. Okay, keep that in mind. It might not work if you're trying to change a label um, highlight area at runtime. So I really hope this helps you if you're trying to figure this out as well. Uh, goodbye for now.